Genshin Impact has a whole host of characters, many of which can be either deemed as a support character, a main damage dealer, or anything in between. And in this video, I'm going to go through every four star support character in the game and see which one is the best. Now, obviously, there is no true quote unquote best character, as a lot of characters can apply to different situations in the game. So, we're going to talk about maybe like best for each element or best for certain situations. Or we're going to talk about the pros and cons of every character that can be a support. So, if you do enjoy this little guide or kind of discussion hybrid and you want to feel free to support me, you can always sub because only 4.8% of your watch reviews are subscribed. And if you're new to the channel or you're a returning viewer, we do daily Genshin Impact guides, discussions, news, anything in between. And subscribing really helps me out. And growth on the channel has been pretty slow recently and we're trying to get it back up so let's get into it so we're going to talk about the electrical characters first now please note there are characters such as Razor but I would probably suit them more as a main damage unit instead of a support so we're going to talk about the mainly the support characters that are commonly used in this video so we're going to start off with Beidou because she is my main character so her support potential is extremely strong because of course she, she can have a shield and she can counter for large damage and her burst can infuse your attacks with electricity which can be transferred to any character in your party. Now this makes Bado an extremely strong support and probably one of the better electro supports in the game because having an electro infused weapon on your party is great for causing reactions with characters such as Tartalia or, or maybe, maybe Deluke but the main problem with electricity in general in Genshin is because if you, if you infuse it with Pyro, it creates an overloaded reaction, which on a character like Diluc, for example, is pretty bad because it knocks enemies away from where they get the yeah, direction of where they get reacted from, so that's something to watch out for. However, Beidou is a very, very like top tier, all around great support character, and a damage dealer as well if you want her to be, and you should not hesitate to put her on your team because she's just fun. Now, Lisa, on the other hand, is a character you get for free at the start of the game, and She's okay. The main problems with her is is that she, you need to hold down her ability, which means she's probably under getting hit if you don't have a shield character. And her burst is a bit like Beidou's or Fischl's E, for example. But the main problem with this is is that if it causes reactions, they're going to get knocked out of her circle. So, prob so that's a ma major problem because she just doesn't do much damage then at that point if they're knocked out of the circle, which. Yeah, Lisa it, it's a fun support. I love Lisa, but she isn't the greatest support character, and it's kind of a shame to be fair, but Fisher, on the other hand, is the other Electro support that's a 4-star. Now, of course, she's quite fun to, and easy to run, because you can run it with something like Stringless, or the new Windbloom Bow, if you don't have Stringless or any other weapon for her. But her main damage is, is her E and her Q. Now, her Q is kind of like she turns into a raven and smites people, but her main bird, Oz, which is her E ability, is the main cause of damage. So what it does, she pulls out the bird, and it's basically a turret. It will stay there for a while, it will shoot enemies, cause decent electric damage, and it's all around great support, because obviously it stays on the field, which means Fischl can just switch out straight away, and you can get some better reaction damage. And so, out of the three electric supports, I'm going to say Vader and Fischl are the best four star electric supports in the game and I think you should just have them on your party if you want to do some electro reactions. So as, we, as we're just talking out here to another character, we're going to talk about the pyro caps. Now there's a lot of pyro characters in the game, there's a whole like seven pyro characters which is more than most elements in the game but all of the four stars can be used oh, as yeah, support. Going. All these four stars can be support characters and we can discuss all of them. So first off, Zhang Ling. Now Zhang Ling is a good character, main DPS, main support as well, and what makes her good is, is her ability to have abilities while being off the field. So you throw down Gooba, switch out to another character and this will stay there, and as well, when Gooba leaves the field as, as your second ability, it drops a pepper which increases your damage by 10%. So is Zhang Ling a really good support? Yes she is because of the fact that she can just leave the field and and also the Pyronado is good as well. However, the only iffy thing with the Pyronado is that 
it does it a bit away from your character, so if you, you have to try and get close, and it might be a bit tricky trying to like get the right position for that, but it, it's an okay downside to have because her kit is pretty fun. Now, Zin Yan, on the other hand, is a is a Pyro Claymore user. She works a lot of physical damage, but also Pyro damage as well. She builds attack percent, but the main thing here is that this performs a shield. However, it's got quite a long cooldown, so I'd say the only best thing about this is that it could either, one, be a really, really useful shield for your team, or two, it can be good for trying to set up a strong melt reaction with maybe a character like Ganyu, for example. But if you grow, give like a sacrificial sword or something, it will become quite. She'll become quite a bit of a better support, and her burst is just good at applying applying pyro and just knocking all the enemies back up in the air. So, is Inyan an okay support? Yeah, she's okay. I wouldn't say the best, but it is fine. Now Amber, she's a free to play character you get at the start of the game as well. Everyone says she's extremely weak, but I mean, you you could use Baron Bunny for something, maybe as a taunt or something, but. The main way you can play as a support is to put an energy recharge bow on her and use her Q because that applies quite a lot of constant pyro damage for a couple seconds but the problem is you're going to need a character that can benefit from that which I mean unless you've got maybe like a Zing Show or a, or a Garnu for example it's going to be a bit hard to get your max usage off of that but it's a fun playstyle to use for sure but I don't think she's going to be the best pyro support for your team. Now last but not least is arguably one of the best supports in the game which is Bennett and the reason why this is is because first off he can, he, he can apply pyro quite easily switch to him and you got he's got high energy recharge but the main thing you want to use him for is his burst which not only heals it also gives your characters his base attack which if you got an energy recharge sword on them you'll, you'll be giving at least like 400 plus base attacks to your other characters which is a massive boost for getting some of the biggest numbers in the game and all around Bennett is probably one of the better characters to have. So out of all the pyro characters I'd say the best supports are both Bennett and Zhang Ling because of their easy pyro application and presence and also Bennett just because of the sap boost he can give to everyone around him. Right so we're going to go into the next element now and that's going to be Cryo. Now Cryo doesn't have that many characters that you can use. We've got all of about two, so yeah, so yeah, Cryo is quite a small element in the game. There's, there's only about four characters in the entire element, which is quite which is quite low. We we probably get another Cryo character soon, hopefully. But the two characters that we have are Chongyun and Kaya, and well, the, the better character to use as support is Kaya. Now that's maybe because Chongyun he can create a circle which reacts quite well with a character like Jing Cho, but the problem is it infuses your attacks with Cryo, which it's a double-edged sword because the, the problem with that is is that obviously the main reactions you can do with cryo is either su is like superconduct, melt, or you can do um what well, what well, freeze you can you just freeze them now. The thing is is that superconduct you can't use with Chongyun because it will convert your attacks into cryo and melt is good, but I don't know if it works with a character like Diluc for example, but you, you could try and get some all right melt reactions in there, but it's gonna be a bit tricky. And freeze, it, Chongyun is probably the best for doing freeze reactions because of the fact that it infuses your attacks with Cryo and Zing Show exists as well. And we'll get onto him later and how great he is. But all around though, Kaya is also a really, really good support, and he's a bit underrated as well. People have started waking up to him recently, and I'm quite happy about that because Kaya, I feel like he deserves a bit more love in the community, but. The main thing about him is that is that he is a bit like Zhang Ling in the fact that his burst allows him to if you well not infuse but like have a cryo ring around your character which will do you know constant cryo damage which is good for performing melt reactions and generally as well his E is just simple. There you go. He he just he just thrusts ice which applies ice to a character and. That is really, really good for just applying simple superconduct. You, you can apply simple superconduct for maybe Razor or Bado, for example, like I said in yesterday's video, and it's just a really, really simple way of applying reactions. Now, the only problem with this is maybe Freeze might be a bit, you know, he's not, he's a bit lacking in the Freeze department, but that's fine. You know, two great supports, and they're both just as good as each other. But if you're using it for superconduct, for example, which I know a lot of people do, Kaya will probably be the better option here. Now. We get onto hydro supports, which there's all of about 
two again in the four star department. And one of them's a healer, so. So we're not, we're not, we're actually kind of lacking here because we got a healer, and whilst Barbara is a great healer, the only thing she's good at is, you know, if she's healing, she can be, she can be applying hydro to them. But if you really want to apply big hydro damage, for example, to try and increase your overall damage instead of just applying the effects to them, it will be Zing Show. Now, Zing Show is arguably another one of the top tier supports in the game from the labelled by the community, and yeah, that's very for a very good reason. That's because basically. He's got he's got his E, which also puts him on range source, which, which reduces the amount of damage you take, but that gives him a lot of damage. And his burst, it'll just start summoning these water swords, which will attack enemies. And of course, if you're applying it with, with another character, for example, like for let's say a Beta with her burst, you'll you'll be permanently doing the the reaction with uh, with electro and hydro. And you know, Shinsu doesn't even need to be on the field to use this. So def so therefore. That's why he's considered one of the better supports, or one of the best supports in general, to be fair. And I can agree with that statement because he's just overall amazing at what he does. Now, now Hydro characters, that's also simple. There's, there's, there's not a lot of uh, Animo characters either. We got all of two. I mean, I, I mean, I guess the Traveler counts as a five star, but we'll, we'll throw the Traveler in for this as well, just, just because I actually need something to compare it to. Now. Then we've got Sucrose. Sucrose is an elemental mastery battery in this game. Now, now she can she can pull enemies together a little bit, and her burst is just good at not only applying elemental mastery to your to your party, which is great because elemental mastery increases your reaction damage, and obviously since Swole is a reaction that will just happen, it will just increase your reaction damage and increases your damage overall just by having the Sucrose in your party. And Traveler, well. They're okay. That, 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 that's about it. That's all I can really say about them. They're just okay. Like if, if you need an animal character, you can get away with the Traveler, but they're not that good, honestly. I prefer their Geo version. The Geo version I think is a lot better because the thing with Traveler is that even their burst can't melt a Fatui shield. So it's a, it's a bit of an awkward position for that one, but I say out of the two, I take Sucrose as a better support, but you know, that's, that's, just, that's just my opinion. You can leave it down below. If you, uh, what you think about it. So, done that. And the last element to use here is Geo. Now, we 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 have we have Geo Traveler. Geo Traveler is useful, but I'll just put the Animo one here for the second. I mean, I guess you could also use an Ingguang as well, but understood. But that's basically the three characters you can use. I mean, Ningguang is more of a DPS character, but you can use her as a support if you want to. But Noel, simple shield. Do a crystallized reaction with Archaic Petra if you want. Archaic Petra, I think, is an underrated set. I think Geo overall is underrated. I love Geo, and it's just I've, been, I've woken up to it recently. But yeah, Traveler. Imagine that this is a Geo version. Now the Geo version, it's really useful because not only is it like kind of like it makes an object, which is pretty cool. It's also a construct for Zhongli, and it's a good construct as well like that. But Mainly Ningguang, her main thing is either this can do crystallized reactions and this this is a big shield. This blocks projectiles and takes damage. It's basically it's basically a portable shield and that's overall pretty good. Now oh I, I'd say all three geo characters that are like four stars plus traveler, I think they're all extremely just as good as each other. They've all got their different purposes and uses and I wouldn't say there's one that's better than the rest. But yeah, that should be every element in the game, unless I forget something. And yeah, comment down below who do you think is the best support that's a four star. And if you really want to take it further, what's your favourite support from each element? Because obviously I, I love all the elements, please. But thank you guys for watching this little guide. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, subscribe if you want to. Feel free to help me out. But yeah, you know, I'll see you guys in another video soon. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all later.